Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Goodness. Today we're back out crabbing down at the pin and uh, we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit and do a slight bit of comparing. And uh, we're going to compare the effectiveness of crab pots versus uh, walking for crabs. So you know I, I love walking for crabs, so we've started off with a fair chance. We've got the crab pot soaking, we've put them up as shallow as we can. And then once the tide's high enough and the sun is set, we're going to go up on the flats. We're going to try a few different areas that I haven't tried before just so that we're sort of getting a, uh, a fair comparison because I know some spots that do produce pretty well. So we're gonna go to some different locations, new locations, uh, give you a little bit of a run through on how we find them uh, and what we're looking for. So sit back and enjoy and let's get into it and let's go check these pots. All right guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the first pot. Well, it's a little bit lackluster, hasn't been in long. Alright guys, what one do you think is going to do better? What method? Comment below, let me know what method you reckon is going to do better. I already know what method is going to do better, but it would be interesting to see if you guys have a little bit of faith in the old crab pots. Let's have a look and see what pot number two is holding. Probably sweet FA. Well, we got a couple of crab in here. Oh, one contender. Oh, he looks a bit light on, but. Looks a bit light on. Let's get him out and have a look. He could be a floater. He looks like a floater. Now let's get him flipped over and have a quick look at him. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> well and truly legal. Look at that. Tip to tip, well and truly legal. Good centimetre over, but he's only just gone through a shell change. Very soft, very supple. So we're going to let him live. See you, mate. Oh, look at that. He's barely got enough water in him to get down. <laughs> That's funny. That was a hassle and a half. A hassle hoff. Oh, one of the sticks again. Run crab up in the top, which means generally there's good crab in the bottom. And I think they're all undersized, but. Oh, man. We're gonna have a look at them anyway. Whew. Right, that was not enjoyable for me, guys. Just have you know. Oh, man. Yeah, they'll look undersized. That sucks. He might be the only close ish one, maybe. No, all undersized. Mugger, eh? Good spot, but definitely worth having a look. Right. And 
and fingers crossed we can produce something. Oh. Let's see, second pot of the second check. And then after this I think we're gonna go for a crab walk and just see, because there's a few spots now, a few zones that are starting to become um, quite active. This one's definitely not. Not unless you like uh, mango crab. These guys, great bait. Oh, yes, yes. See how it goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it puts the pots in with a fair chance. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. It was the boots. We have a good one in the uh, <laughs> in the big pot. I have to get my old bloody boot off. I put my boots on because I knew that I was going to need them off. <laughs> That's cool. He's a good crab. And there's no other crabs in the pot with him because he's a good crab. Biggie? He's purple nipples. and look at you. Yeah, I'm going up there. Ha. Look at him. Well over. Let's get a uh, get a twine on you, big boy. crab. Look at the size of him, eh? He's not a damn bad crab at all. Nice, big boy. Nice and purple on top too. He's the um, green shell variety, I'd say. How much do you weigh? He's probably only about a kilo. He's not a super heavy crab, but he's going to be good. Alright.
shell decay though. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna be too small. So. Centimeter under. You live. Damn good crab. Nice spike your light. Oof. Hello, my friend. Alright, so. Let me just neutralize my light, guys. Good crab. He's well and truly sores. Good nippers on him. Go again. No, no. Look, we found a good crab. He's just been uh, he's been doing the dirty with his uh, with his missile. He's just come out of his hole, which is just over there. And we got to him nice and quick. And he is a grade, perfect. So we're one for one, eh? At the moment, the crab pots have got one, and uh, Walking's got one, and he is a good crab, real good crab. So we'll get him in the bucket and we'll keep moving, eh? Alright guys, a lot of these borderline crabs, so almost check them. He's under by a centimetre. He needs to go. But doesn't hurt to keep the old eye in. Crab, but the shells are always just under. Eh? They're so big underwater and then you take them out and they're not. Turn the light. Come, buddy. On, mate. Spread them, mate. Just gonna check your ID real quick. Mate, you don't pass, you're coming home with us. Uh oh. Oh no. Good crab, too, that one. Another good crab. So he can go on top. He's gonna be close. Oh, would you look at that? He's in. Friend. Friend, eh? Oh yeah, look at him, he's empty. See all the water coming out of him. Been poked through there, soft underneath. Huge crab, like a big carapace. Oh, a huge crab, sorry. He's legal, but it's not good for our purposes. Oh yeah, that is a mudzilla. Look at that big boy. That's a good crab. Not even sure we need to check your ID, mate. Yeah, I think you can do it. Yeah, we'll pull out the old eye. Uh... Oh, yeah, look at that. 
Hey, look at this shell. Oh, is he heavy? He is. Nice. Good centimeter over. So I'll take a moment real quick, guys, to explain just how like important it is. Like when you're coming through these sorts of different grounds and that and trying to find new uh new spots and that you want open sort of country so like at the moment we've come through a little bit of a mangrove grove and we're just doubling back and it doesn't hurt to double back every so often especially now that we're on our way back to the boat but you come across these bigger crabs and you would have passed him and not even known that he was there like they sit dead still but uh that's where that torchlight really comes in handy so we're gonna keep going back to the boat and a bit of luck we might might even find another crab Coming and going, isn't he? That scamp. That's disgusting. You oh, see him? Yeah. Big knot eel. Yuck. A dirty dog. One crab. It does not look promising, <sighs> Nervous, buddy. Yeah, it is. That was a leaf. I know, but. <laughs> Can't see him. It's not me. It. So it's only like a new hole. Oh. I reckon one like a big crab's busted through it. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely like a crab hole. Some something. That's just downright shame. I was uh, really high hopes. There was two crabs in there, but when I picked it up, they fell out. And I was like, oh, what? Uh, one was a big Jenny. The other one was like just under. That is extremely unfortunate. Now, I had high hopes for that pot. I reckon it would have had some crab through it. The bait was so destroyed. I decided, so uh, it's very much a told you if that might be the case. Um, if you're betting at home, I mean, and you bet one way or another, I'm, <laughs> I'm lost for words. I was hoping for more out of the crab pots. We had a good start. I don't know what went wrong, but this is what this is the game we play. I I knew what the outcome was probably going to be, but it was it was nice to just try and find out. So. Comment below if you want to see me try and maybe amalgamate the two together. Try and put some of these pots up as shallow as we can get them and fish them like we're walking for them, I guess. It's, it's going to be a bit of effort, but I think we might do better doing that. Either way, I'm going to get back to the boat and get out of the rain. Take my strong hand, child. <laughs> Leggies. Sorry, mate. You gotta finish your shell. Oh, 